Hi guys! So today's video is going to be about rereading and books that I regularly reread and books that I'm looking forward to rereading at some point. Um, but first of all I want to say a big welcome to all the new subscribers that uh, I have received on this channel thanks to Katie over at Effusions of Wit, um, to people who are already being subscribed. Uh, I will leave a link in the description to that video because she talks about people who discuss classic literature. Um, so those are some, some channels that are awesome. Um, I've been working my way through the list and subscribing to a ton of them um, because they are like-minded people um, which can sometimes be a bit hard if you're you know on the outskirts of booktube and you don't talk about YA. Um, those of us who talk about the classics you know we need to band together. So on with the video. Um, books that I like to reread. I thought I'd start off with two that I reread regularly, um, that being Pride and Prejudice and The Hobbit. To those of you who are not new to this channel, you know that I read these annually. Um, every September I tend to reread Pride and Prejudice. This year was no different. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite books. Actually, I would say these two are tied for my favorite books of all time. Um, I do read The Hobbit almost annually, maybe a little bit less frequently um, than Pride and Prejudice, but yeah, I, I reread these fairly regularly. Um, sorry if you can hear that clicking in my mouth. Um, I have a lozenge. I've got a bit of a sore throat, so I'm persevering with my videos, though. Um, but yeah, I also read the trilogy not quite annually like I do The Hobbit and Pride and Prejudice. These are a bit easier to get through. Um, when I say the trilogy I mean the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Uh, I think last time I read it was a few years ago when I was in Hawaii I decided to reread them and every so often I decide to reread that series. Um, I just find it a bit a bit heavy to get through every year so I space that out. Um, so now getting on to the massive list of books that I want to reread. Um, I find that with rereading it's a little bit of a guilty pleasure. Rereading books takes up time that where you could be reading new books but I do think it does have some merit. It does allow you to get a new perspective. Um, generally I don't allow myself to reread the same book within a year although I am really tempted with some of these. Uh, some of these I literally read and just wanted to reread immediately so they are on here. I'm trying to give myself a bit of perspective. Um, now to start with one that I haven't read in ages but that I really want to reread is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Um, I have these beautiful Everyman Library by Knopp editions that's divided up into three parts. That is fantastic because it means that you're not carrying around this huge massive book. Like this is, this is a friggin heavy guys. This is, I would say this is about 20 pounds worth of book so having them in these individual editions is fantastic. I think I received this from Christmas one year from my sister which is wonderful. Um, I, re I read these for the first time. I'm gonna say I was 18 or 19. So it's been almost a decade since I read it. Um, the details are hazy to me. I really want to reread this. Um, I remember loving this when I read it the first time through and I think that might actually be something I read over my Christmas break because I actually have the entire month of December off and don't have exams. Another one is one that I read quite a while ago and that is Bride's Head Revisited by Evelyn Waugh. Um, I can actually probably tell you the year that I read this because I have my receipt for this in here. Um, trying to read where it is. It's really faded. Um, I bought this in 2008 so that is when I read it. So yeah it's been six years since I read this. I remember really enjoying this. I recently read Vile Bodies by Evelyn Law which I quite enjoyed um, and I want to reread this because this is obviously I think his most famous work so I'm really looking forward to that. I might also do that over the break. One that I won't let myself reread for a while is Dodie Smith's I Capture the Castle. I fell in love with this when I read this. I think I read it in like March or May. I feel like it had an M in the title and I just really enjoyed this and this is something that I can see myself rereading next spring. I'm just gonna pull it a couple at a time. It just makes it easier so I'm not turning my back to the camera. One that I read and immediately wanted to reread this year was The Tenant of Wildfall Hall by Anne Bronte. Um, Anne only published two works, Agnes Grey and The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. 
both are fantastic. I highly recommend you read them. Um, yeah, I, I really want to reread this. I think I missed some of the subtleties as one does in the first reading. So this is one that I'm really looking forward to rereading. This one I might not make it to the end of the year before rereading and that is Shirley Jackson's We Have Always Lived in the Castle. Um, I bought a lot of Shirley Jackson since then. This was a birthday gift. Uh, I read it immediately upon receiving it in the same day and fell in love with the characters just absolutely. So once again, thank you Cassie for such a wonderful book. Um, I probably won't reread this until I've read some more of her works. Uh, I've only read The Haunting of Hill House. I have um, Hangman and Through the Wall and I actually just ordered the lottery and other short stories by her so I want to finish those before I reread it but yeah I this is so far my favorite so I might actually pick up Hang's Man this week because I'm currently reading The Warden and The Shadow of the Wind and neither are grabbing me so I might I might pick up another Jackson to read. Um, another one I want to reread is George Orwell's 1984. I know you can't see the cover I love these editions. Um, they are the great Orwell editions and I have almost all of them in this and yeah I remember reading this a couple of years ago and just it's so amazing. I think this I don't know I can't decide between this and Animal Farm those are the only two fiction Orwell I've read. Um, I've also read The Road to Wigan Pier but I read that in first year for my British history class. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to read more Orwell, but I also want to reread these and kind of get a general feel for Orwell because I remember really loving this when I read it the first time. Um, the next four and the last four that I want to reread are all contemporary fiction um, or literary fiction. I don't, I don't know if they fall. I think they're literary fiction. Um, but yeah, they they all kind of. They're all a little bit darker and they're ones that I read and that sit on my favorite books shelf. I have a section of my shelf which are favorite contemporary fiction books that just kind of really influenced me and influenced the way that I'm thinking. Um, so number one being The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. Um, I do have read reread re lots of Neil Gaiman's works. Um, I own signed copies of uh, Stardust and Anansi Boys which I think I've read probably four or five times each as well as American Gods which is fantastic and Coraline. Um, I do have a copy of Neverwhere which I need to read. I haven't read that yet and that's one of the few that I haven't actually read and I am really looking forward to rereading this. I also want to reread The Secret History by Donna Hart. I think I read this at the beginning of the year. This will probably make an appearance in my favorite books of the year. Um, I think Tarte's prose is something that is really dense and I feel like you miss a lot the first time through so I do want to reread this. Um, I'm a big Donna Tarte fan. I've read The Goldfinch which I enjoyed. Um, I do have The Little Friend to read um, so I'll probably read that before I reread this though. Um, another one is The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield. Um, I love this. This rekindled my love of gothic literature. Before I kind of felt like gothic literature was something that I didn't enjoy. I think my experiences were Wuthering Heights in high school which I think I've mentioned in previous videos but I'll mention again. I was taught horribly. Uh, I had the worst high school English teachers that almost killed my love of literature. Uh, they don't know what they're talking about. It took me a really long time to recover from my hatred of the books that they taught me. Um, yeah, I had a really bad English department at my high school so that this this helped to rekindle my love of gothic literature. Um, that and like things like Shirley Jackson for the Southern Gothic which is fantastic. And the last book that I would like to reread is The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly. Um, I received this as part of a Secret Santa swap last year and read it immediately. It's just it's this wonderful dark retelling of fairy tales and like amalgamating them all into one and I really want to reread this. I think I might reread it around Christmas time. It's a bit spooky but it's it just feels like a Christmas one. But yeah so those are the books that I reread or really want to reread. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. 
uh, rereading something that's a little bit not controversial but it's just is this something that I want to spend time on something that I've already read versus books that I have sitting unfinished but rereading gives a sense of comfort and you can always discover new things um, every time I reread The Hobbit and Pride and Prejudice I discover new things especially in The Hobbit when I was younger I skipped over a lot of the songs and now I read them I think that they're really an important part of the story but when you're little you don't really want to read the songs and now I, I read them every time I read through them. So yeah, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on rereading and stuff that you reread habitually and I will see you guys later on in the week with another video. Bye!